Hello. How's everybody doing? How far in Outer Wilds am I? I This is my very first playthrough. I have never seen this game before. We are starting it right now. I'm very excited. Hey, Allie. Hey, KY. Thank you for that follow. Ooh. I'm, I'm like excited to get into this because I've heard so many good things about it, but um, I know very little about it. Oh, thank you so much for that follow. Are you a big fan of this game? It seems to have, like, I've never heard anything bad about it. Also, I'm really glad I got my stream elements fixed, so now I can hear the alert when I get a follow, um, because I, I kept having to catch catch them in chat because I wasn't hearing the hearing the alert, so I'm glad that's working. You're really excited for me to play this game? Well then we should get into it, because I'm excited to play it. I don't really know what I'm getting into. I, I know that the scale is bigger than it seems, just from what I've been told, but I've I've tried really hard to avoid any kind of like spoilers. Um, so this is pretty pretty blind playthrough for me. Outer Wilds is what you like calling the best game you've ever played. Wow, that is some high praise. Like, I don't even know what game I would say is the best game I've ever played. That's... No spoilers then, yep. Anyone watching right now play it first? Yeah, I know Ali's played it before and I know KY it's one of his favorite games. And your top five. That is exciting. I have my door cracked, so we might get a cat later. We'll see. Weather permitting on the cats. New expedition. Let's get started. I love this music, too. I like that it's looping. I really appreciate that. Like, I've, I've launched a few games. I like to have, like, the game soundtrack running while I'm kind of getting myself situated and, and ready to go. And when the music only runs for, like, two minutes, I get a little bummed out. Harvey's sleeping on a tower, so maybe not. Music's top-notch. Nice. Let's wake up. Andrew Parlow is a music legend. I assume he's the composer. Hey. I can roast a marshmallow? Hell yeah. Um, as always, let me know if the game volume is good because it was a little bit hard to um, get an idea. Move stick. Extend stick. Oh, hell yeah. This is exactly how I like my marshmallows. Burnt to a crisp. I don't think our character appreciates them like that. Can we, like, lightly roast them? Maybe. Oh, it's steaming. Kinda. I, f I feel like I just burned it. It didn't get that golden yellow. He didn't, he didn't, like, um, he didn't make a, a noise that time, though. He didn't seem annoyed. Can we talk? There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, huh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get off this beauty get this beauty off the ground it's all fueled up and ready to go are you sure you fixed the retro rockets that was only a problem one time and then maybe a few times after that but hey uh, no reason to dwell on the past right anyways you'll need to get the launch codes from Horfels at the observatory Ob observatory 
before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Not not a whole lot of confidence uh, in our launch here, but let's look around. The movement speed feels really fast, which is kind of cool. Um, reminds me of Talos Principle when you could just like run and you would just like dash across the whole map. That's cool. Hi. Heyo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, uh, let's you, me, and Gosen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm um, only here seeking adventure amongst one star. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldpar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Herthian history. Are we Herthian? I don't know why the mouse is there stuck in the center. Man, this is stuttering a lot. Oh no. Let's see, it's freezing. I hope my computer can run this. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. I really. Why is that. Why is my mouse here? Earthling. Uh, how do I get rid of my mouse? That's annoying. So I'm like kind of looking around trying to see if this is going to continue to stutter like this. Because I don't know how bad it looks on stream, but every couple of steps I take, it's kind of like pausing for a second. I'm getting a new graphics card in a couple days. You haven't noticed any major stuttering, but you can see this mouse in the middle, right? Like, that wasn't there a minute ago. Yeah, it's tiny, but it's like right in the middle. You're actually blasting off that in that thing, huh? Um, yeah, I'm told the odds of survival are statistically quite high. Uh, yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Uh, I'm going to try unplugging my controller and plugging it back in. I'm getting a lot of pop-ups so that it keeps like connecting and then disconnecting. So maybe like that's why? No? I could try closing the game and relaunching it. Because I, I really don't like that the mouse is just there. Or what happens if I try to use the keyboard? Nope, it's just stuck. Huh. 
it wasn't doing this a minute ago. Hmm. It wouldn't be a Twitch stream without some technical problems, right? Yeah, try that, Allie. It's like, it's still just stuck there in the middle. Um. Maybe I'll try launching it and relaunching it again. I don't know. This. So, like, that lets me move it, but then it just locks it in place. I'm just going to try relaunching it. Just give me a second. That's fine. We'll get there. We'll get this going. Uh, only other suggestion would have been switching in and out of full screen. I'll try that if this doesn't fix it. I think the... yeah... I'm trying to like... Google it really quick. Wake up. All right, so now it's just, now I just got the dot. I assume this is where we need the launch codes, right? So we have to go to the observatory. Pick him, pick him back up. Hopefully this will just, just stay like that. Haven't been up here yet. Hello. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. Mm. Want to practice in the pro before I leave? Say I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Fly model ship. Oh no! There it goes. Alright, B to reset. B to reset. Okay. So thrust. Okay. Alright. So, that was only holding the thrust. I wasn't holding the direction at all. Uh, if this is, uh, if this is what we're in for, 
uh, it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> Is this really what the controls are gonna be when I have to like navigate and go somewhere? Because oh my god. Man, it seems like once you go down, you're kind of stuck. It's easier when you're inside the cockpit. Some, For some reason, I don't believe you, and I think that it's going to be a hilarious result. Oh, no, I want to go in... Man, you really, like, <laughs> you just can't, uh... I hope this wasn't expensive. Kid, I'm sorry about your, uh, your rocket. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, that really goes down. <laughs> Alright, uh, cool. That was, that was neat. Thank you. I'll be fine, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure I'll manage it. If not, get a couple of good laughs along the way. Launch tower. Alright, this seems to be running a bit more smoothly now. Observatory. Hi. Okay. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Maureen won't let us borrow the signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. You mean like the the model rocket ship that I just like flung across the, <laughs> uh, the whatever those were, the geysers? Hey, hey. Uh, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Uh, sure. Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. One last, um, last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. This is a neat little tutorial. I found you. Oh no, oh no, I fell. Let's see, I went up this way and then I went up that other little ramp. The sound design there is cool too. That you get music when you um, get close. Oh, I, do you take fall damage? Yes. Yes, you do. Am I drowning? Oh god. Didn't quite make it. It's fine. Third time's the charm. Observatory. Alright, kid. This time. Alright. Found you. Aw, oh, you found me? But my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Alright. Can I jump that far? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, just noticed that the hide and seek song is a lo fi version of Travelers. I assume that's another track in the game. I assume that's not just taking me to the same kid, no, because that kid was over there. Uh, 
uh, go up there, jump across. Travelers is a great song, cool. All right, so you got jump. Hmm. It seems like there's just a bit of a, a delay on the jump, so I have to jump a little bit earlier than I expect to. No? Hmm. It's like, I'm definitely going to kill myself in this tutorial area. Hold the jump button to jump higher. Yeah, I mean, I'm holding it down. Is it hold it down? Oh, it's when you let go. I see. Got it. Okay. There we go. That's that is weird. You won. You're happy. Thanks for playing with us. Cool, we got got a good tutorial on this uh this this scope. The jump mechanics were hard for you. Okay, I'm glad that it didn't come intuitively to to more than more people than just me, because I, I was just like, I'm holding it down. <laughs> cool. Uh I think we talked to this guy, maybe not. You're actually blasting off in that thing? Yeah, oh yeah, I remember this. They really don't explode as often. Um, I know... Uh, all I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Okay. Let's go back up to the observatory. It threw you off too first. Yeah. Once I, once I get the hang of it, I'm sure like with the flying too. I also have to, I have a little, a little written down, like, prompt here because, or a sticky note, because uh, I'm using a PlayStation controller, but Steam recognizes it as the Xbox controller, and I don't have an Xbox, so I just don't have that really memorized, so I just have it written down. <laughs> Observatory. Hi. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. If you're leaving the crater, guests will all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to go to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see far down, on account of how murky the water was. Uh, I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly, Gabbro couldn't go any further. I underestimated how important it was. <laughs> Tell me more. I will. Uh, I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of his own, uh, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, as if it were trying to protect him from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast! Is that all true? Heard it from Gabbro themselves. Uh, Gabbro was a... Uh, Gabbro can be a little fanciful, sure but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyways. I guess if you want to know the story is entirely true, you can go to Giant's Deep for yourself. Hmm. Oh no.
These geysers are cool. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invinc invisible to the naked eye. Uh, the good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hey, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghostin said it, uh, it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope it's still ghost matter in the village when I grow up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Uh, you shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. Um... You know, I like this one. You know Ghost Matter is how uh, Tektite lost their foot, right? Whoa, really? That is so cool! <laughs> it's invisible, naked eye. Do I do it? Do I jump in? They even give me this nice little ledge that I could, uh, or, oh, use camera? This is a camera? Hey Kim! Drop me a lurk as you have some things to do for work? Yeah, no problem, thanks for lurking. I kinda- I kinda wanna do it. I kinda wanna jump in. I'm kinda curious what happens when I die. I'm gonna do it. Oh, no! <laughs> well, I didn't completely die. It doesn't seem like I have any kind of, like, health meter. How could I have possibly predicted this? What's over here? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are! My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybex banjo coming from the Bristle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since the different planets... Uh, are in the sky at different times. Signal slopes are cool. Did I just have to back up? Oh, there it is. It was just behind the tree. Ah! Oh, I just walked off the platform. Alright, we tested death. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> it's fine, we're still in the tutorial. It doesn't matter yet. Oh, it just rolls credits. <laughs> They're like, no, really. Oh shit, wait, do you- is this, uh, permadeath? I didn't know this game is permadeath. That's not entirely made up as far as science go. Science goes, you can hear things like Saturn's rings. It's not exactly permadeath, but it'll make sense eventually. Alright. You got me nervous. Do I still have everything? I guess I do. I already even told me hold and release there for jump. Um, let's just get back to where we were. 
Okay, thank you, KY. Yeah, that was that was another thing that so I've I've played a little bit of um what is it, Zuna's like Hellblade, Zuna's sacrifice or what that one. Um like you said it's the tutorial. Okay. Um I played a little bit of that game and, and one of Zuna. Okay, thank you. Um I, I played it for like a couple hours and one of the, the things that kind of detracted for me was knowing that it was permadeath. I'll go back to that game eventually. Um, maybe not like story spoilers, just because I, I plan to play it eventually. Um, so let's back up and try to see that planet without the risk of just falling off the platform. Hmm. Mechanical spoilers? Yeah, go for it. Mechanical spoilers and gameplay spoilers, like that kind of thing, I don't really care about. It's just story stuff can't get up there. Although there is like a nice platform that makes it look like I could if I jump up on here. Is there anything even up there that looks enticing? Because I want to check around and be thorough and it does seem like there's something back there. Jump. Hurry. Ha ah, ha ha, I did it. Is there anything back here to reward my efforts? Maybe not. If you trigger it, nothing happens. Huh. That's, that's really interesting. Because I wasn't under that impression at all. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. I've gotten better. Do you think so? feel like proving it to your old flight coach. There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up uh, down in the zero-g cave uh, and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or, or don't. So long as you're confident, you can make the ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. A fun fact about this game, it was originally made as a group thesis project between the group that is now uh, Mobius Digital on all sorts of things. That's interesting. Huh. No idea. so dark. Zero G cave. Suit up.
Suddenly it's Resident Evil 7. Yeah, they are really cute. I like the style. Sure, it may be your favorite. Or Rybeck. Uh, hey, nice of you to drop down. Uh, getting some zero. Give me the dirt. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt. Not much happening down here lately, let me think. Come to think of it, uh, te Tech Tite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Is anything on fire? Probably only a little. Tech Tite checked out the crash site uh, with the old Firewatch Scout uh, launcher and saw smoke, so they headed over to stamp out any leftover fires. Well, I better get back to work. This ore is not going to mine itself, you know. Floating. Uh, press L to lock on. There we go. Hold. Match velocity. Oh, oh this is disorienting. terrible at the zero uh, G movement. This is easier than that little model rocket so far. <laughs> I have a feeling that's the part that I'm going to be really bad at. Alright, and then I saw another one. Seems like you go pretty fast. I have to be a little bit careful. The lock on is nice because you can just kind of stop. Now it's actually just Subnautica, with floating around and fixing things. This is on, right? Alright, it is on. Uh, two out of three. Oh! Which way is up? Everything is up. Uh, everything is actually down. I read Ender's Game. The enemy's base is down, thank you. This is cool. This is cool. I'm get I I'm I'm into this. I like the zero G stuff. Ugh! up <laughs> as I fling myself into walls. Uh, I'm gonna get so disoriented. Such a good book, gotta read the others. The only one that I think is worth reading is Ender's Shadow. Um, the other ones uh, ha were a little bit more problematic or just... Um, they, they got weird towards the end. I, I read... Um, I read a couple of them in, in high school, and I always went back to Ender's Game and Ender's Shadow, but not the others. Do I have to put my suit back? Or do I get to keep it? Where was the suit? Uh, only read Ender's Game, but your sister read all of them, and she said the same, they got weird. Yeah, I think that, like, the first few really focused on just, like, the sci-fi elements, and then they started to get more political. 
So I, I didn't even bother with some of the later ones in the series, but Ender's Shadow is, is really good. I really liked that one. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Yeah, this one was, I was nice and contained. <laughs> I could hit walls, but I wouldn't go flying. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch code coordinates from the observatory and I'll get, and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? You're right, I am an asset. Um, I'm a valuable asset to this company. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your, uh, before your launch. Uh, I've got zero G training set up. Okay, yeah. Let's see what's over here. Uh, I say that because for um, about a year and a half I was working for a temping agency and any time they would uh, reach out to us they would be they'd refer to you as an asset um, and so they'd say like the asset should contact this department for help with with this policy or this HR thing um, they would never talk to you as a person. They would only address you as an asset talking to your manager. Yeah, it was it was so dehumanizing. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top to left. Hornfels, Gosen, Slate, Feldspar. They called you the asset to your face to my to my digital email face i never it was since it was like a temping agency I, I never met anyone in person so like i was hired by the temping agency and then assigned to a project um so i was working for a different company and so i'd have a manager there and so the the temping agency would talk to my manager at the at my assigned project right so they they'd say like hey our employee is having trouble signing up for health care and benefits and they'd say the asset should go to this website. You know, that kind of thing. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight two. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any and know me text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Oh jeez, please don't break it. I'm excited! Good, you've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. I just like know that I'm gonna launch and then nosedive. <laughs> and they're gonna be like this guy. Ugh. Oh. Uh, so what's the dirt? Uh, you're here to see the new... Naomi statue. Um, of course I am. I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see uh, what a real life Naomi looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully interact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. <laughs> you had one job, Hatchling. <laughs> yep, I can see the future now. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have your ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? I'm excited to meet one of those, because that's cool looking. This is cool. A little museum. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Hey, orc! Welcome in. 
Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Hey, Paladin. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Have... <clears throat> is this the thing that only exists when I observe it? You just woke up from your nap. Did you stay up with Loof during his 24-hour stream? Because I... Oh! Ah. Uh. I get it. They move around when you're not looking. That's cool. You were just tired. Fair. I was like stopping in every now and again to his stream and I was like, you're insane. And then at the end, he was like, I'm never doing this again. And then at the end, I'm like, oh, what? Whoa. That's cool. Have either of you seen this game before, by the way? Because this is like my first time ever really seeing it. Uh, let's read about what this thing is. This crystal was taken from Naomi Ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravi gravity distortion and was most likely used to transverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was, it was hilarious. I like asked him at the very end of his stream, I'm like, so are you ever going to do this again? And he's like, yeah, I'll do it in a few months. <laughs> This angelfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears uh, well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Um, also, I just realized it's Nomai. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to outer wild ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, uh, the little uh, little scout now boasts a wrap uh, retrieval cap capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantaneously. Instantly, there we go. This is. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Yeah, I hope he gets some rest too. Uh, what you see here are parts of Nomai's skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. Only three eyes? How many eyes do we have? Five? The Nomai body... Uh, was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Perthians couldn't have descended from um, Nomayan ancestors. Only three. Shake my head. It is not clear where Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. It's cool. Hold up. map. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Giant steep, dark bramble, Britter hollow, brittle hollow. Timber heart. Alright. There you are. I just finished pre flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get to your newest time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with No My Translator Tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. 
you and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm gonna wing it. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Felspar and the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, it looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best to get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes. Anything else I can mess with? The ground is perfectly leveled, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon as it orbits our planet. The Adel Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Uh, oh. That was strange. Not sure what that was about. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at the Nomi statue? The statue was glowing. Why is it glowing? Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So it's eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Uh, yes? My controller turned off. Uh, 